Good evening, my fellow Americans. The voices you hear in this video are not the real voices of these individuals. All voices have been AI generated and are strictly for entertainment purposes. Things get a little crazy and heated between us, so viewer discretion is advised. This video also in no way is meant to reflect any political views of mine or anyone else. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'm Joe Biden's husband. All right, are you guys ready to play some MLB? Oh yeah, I love baseball. I suppose, got nothing better to do. Okay, cool, I was thinking maybe we could do a 2v2. Except we only have two controllers. And only three people. Oh, Jill can play. Pass. I'll call Ben, he'd probably play. Hey guys, I'm ready to crush some baseballs. Nope, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Relax, Donald, it's gonna be fun. Ben doesn't solve our two controller dilemma, in fact, it makes it worse. Maybe every inning, teammates hand the controller over to the other. What are the teams? Let's do Joe and Donald versus Ben and I. Sleepy Joe, I may as well forfeit now. I'll be on your team, Donald. Uh, no, you know what, I'll just stick with Joe. I'd rather play by myself, and Joe as a teammate is practically that. Donald, I'm actually really good. Maybe you could learn a thing or two from me about winning. Your election was nothing but a fraud! Let's just say hypothetically, for the sake of the argument, that it wasn't a rigged election. Would Donald Good Lord, have... get over it. It's over. Move on. Can we please just play some ball? Fine. What are we doing again? For fuck's sake, Joe, would you please pick a fucking team? Where are the Eagles? Oh my god, I can't... Wrong sport, Joe. What sport is this? Baseball. It was literally the first thing I said. You even said I love baseball. Oh yeah, I love baseball. Every minute that passes is another minute closer to Joe's bedtime. Can we be the White Sox? If they still exist by the time Joe is done scrolling through the teams. Yes, Ben, I really don't care who we are. Yay. These guys look cool. They have a crown. Because I am the king and the most royal living thing to walk this earth. Joe, the royals are literal dog shit. But don't they have Bibby Watt? Who? I think he means Bobby Witt Jr., shortstop drafted seventh overall in the 2019 draft out of Colleyville, Texas. Also the son of Bobby Witt Sr. He absolutely tore up the minors posting incredible numbers and... Nerd alert, no one asked. Hypothetically, if he produces similar numbers from his time in the minors, he would be on pace to become one of... All right, just pick the fucking Royals. All right, Joe, did you hear Daddy Barack? He said you could be the Royals. What was that about tinfoil? Barack, I just realized we are both White Sox fans. Hypothetically, we could be best friends. I think our drastic political beliefs would hinder that. Someone say Tinder? Jill won't let me on that app. Hinder, Joe. Here's your blankie. Take a nap and I'll wake you up when the Royal Trump wins. All right, we need to pick a stadium. Any preferences on where we should play? Well, since the White Sox are home, shouldn't we play at their field? Hey, Ben. Yeah? Loosen up a bit, please. Be spontaneous. Try something different. Stop being such a rule follower. Pick Wembley. That's a soccer stadium, Joe. Oh, make sure to call it football. Don't want to piss off all the snowflakes that watch that flop fest. How about the polo grounds? That's a fun stadium to play in. Not your typical ballpark and could be very entertaining. Uh-huh. Sure. Whatever. How many innings? Have to play a traditional nine-inning game. Oh, I don't know about that. That may be too long for Sleepy Joe. Nine innings is fine, Barack. All right, I get to play the first inning as the best player to ever play this game. I will get this team off to a hot start and scare off the competition. Oh, come on, Donald. Let me start off first. I'm telling you, I'm better than you think. Fine, but one fuck up and you're done. Ben, why don't you play this inning? You got it, Barry. Dylan Cease was absolutely robbed the Cy Young Award last year. Hmm, you know who else was robbed of winning something? Your mom. Ben, come on. Justin Verlander literally had an ERA well under two. He's also married to Kate Upton, which deserves an award alone. Ooh, Barry, I'm going to have to tell Michelle you're praising other women. That's ironic coming from you. I get more women than you ever will. And more impeachments. Wow, good one, Joe. I'm surprised your brain is still working this late. Behave, gentlemen. All right, Bibby Watt is going yard here. Once again, Bobby Witt. I'm going to hit that clock out there in the end zone. In the what? You're done. Give me the controller. No, Donald, I got this. I was sitting on a fastball. No, you are going to cost us this game now. Give me the damn controller. One more chance, Donald, please. Mmm, fine. You'll probably be asleep by the third inning anyway. Swing and a miss, just like your presidency. I'm just getting warmed up. Nice pitch, Benjamin. Thanks, Barry. I'm going to switch to classic pitching, though. More of a traditional kind of guy. Why are you praising him for striking out a guy who has no idea where he even is right now? It's called sportsmanship, Donald. Something you clearly lack, as we noticed in 2020. He didn't even legitimately win. It was all a hoax and covered up by... Oh, my God, he actually made contact. Get it, Ben. Sorry, Barry. My thumb slipped on the left analog stick. 
Don't worry, Joe isn't going to go for two. He's still processing the fact he hit the ball. Did you see that, Donald? I got us a hit. I did. You're actually making me somewhat believe we have a chance. There we go. That should be two. Joe, where are you going? Relax, Donald. I'm going to score. Get the hell back. That was only the second out. Too late. Yay, Joe. You can't run on anything hit in the air when there is less than two outs. Did you guys make that rule up just to trick me? No, it is a well-established rule in all levels of baseball. You guys told me this was water polo. Joe, there isn't one body of water on the screen. It's fine. Just take the field, you two. Joe, can you pitch? Oh, heck yeah. I got a nasty spitball. That's not allowed. Do it anyway, Joe. Damn it. Kiss my ass, Ben. I know for a fact that I did not just watch Joe get four strikeouts in one inning. And that's only because Salvi couldn't hang on to the ball. And that Ben didn't look like he knew how to swing a baseball bat. I'm much more efficient on the mound than in the batter's box, but I assure you I can still do wonders at the plate. I'm hitting a solid 190 in my men's softball league. I wouldn't brag about a buck 90 average, Ben. All right, shut up. It's time for the master to rake. My bat is broken. Obama and Ben swapped mine out with a defective one to sabotage this game. You really killed that ball, Donald. Carried all the way to third base. Piss off, Barack. Throw the damn ball. Look at those wheels. I am so fast. There has never been a faster person to ever play this game. Another moonshot, Donald. Maybe if Obama and Ben didn't lower the sliders, my hits would leave the infield. Hypothetically, if we were to touch the sliders, they would affect us as well. Swing and a miss, just like your second term. Go to bed, Joe. At least I didn't swing before it left the pitcher's hand. Good inning, Barack. Let's get some runs now. What the hell? What are you diving for, Donnie? Obama and Ben gave me a faulty controller and the buttons are all jacked up. Go to second, Barry. I thought he was. I got him here. Just kidding, this team and this controller are a disgrace to this country. Thanks for the free hit, Donald. Sit down, Barry. I'll give you that. That was a good pitch. Please fall. Dive. Are you kidding me? Why didn't you dive for it, Donald? Because this controller, this team, and our equipment are fucked. I'm hearing a lot of excuses from the orange man. Clutch is always, gentlemen. Damn. Good hack, Barry. All right, Joe, wake up. It's your turn now. I've literally been awake this entire time. boy, Joe. Let's bring him home. Oh, no. Turn that, Benny. Oh, shoot. Uh, looks like Obama accidentally gave you the faulty controller. Donald, nothing is wrong with the controllers. Uh-huh. It was an error. It happens in the game. Finally. Joe, do not go anywhere. Relax, Donald. I know. If we get nothing out of Ben's gaff, I'm going to be utterly disappointed. There's still one out to go. Who knows? Fall, 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 fall. No. Donald, I'm sorry. I really tried. I'll give you a pass. Aside from an absolute gift from Ben that you should have capitalized on, you weren't completely useless at the plate. You going to get that, Joe? Get what? The ball. He's getting it. Joe, you're supposed to field as well. I didn't know that. Sorry, Donald. Inside the parker. Here we go. Oh, no, Ben. You're toast. Yep. Looks like I'm in a pickle. Hey, come back here. I'm just going to accept defeat. You hear that, Donald? If he can accept defeat, why can't you? I'm still processing what the hell I just watched. A few innings later. Two total runs. What a boring game. Wake up, Ben. Bro, what is happening? Keep going, Joe. Well, you yelled at me last time, and I'm not trying to make you mad again. You got him, Ben. Sleepy Joe strikes again. If it wasn't for my elite pitching, we wouldn't even be in this game. And if it wasn't for your incompetent fielding and inability to time a single fucking pitch, we would maybe have some runs and maybe none given up. Damn, just missed that. Yeah, by 50 feet. See ya. Not even close, Joe. Another disappointing inning from you. You guys are making this way too easy on us. Hypothetically, more positivity would maybe increase the likelihood of you catching up. I actually agree with Ben. For once, I think the hostility between you two is getting in the way of your true potential to work together as a team. Fine, Joe. I'll start a new leaf this one time for you. 
But come the ninth inning, you better bring your A game. I'm about to show you all how good of a cricket player I can be. Time to catch Joe napping. Nice try, Benny boy. Good idea, Ben. Unfortunate result. Really? Unlucky. Great piece of hitting. Two out magic time, boys. All right, Joe, as promised, I'm going to remain extremely professional and encourage you to do your best for this next batter. Don't worry, Donald, I got him. Ben, that's going to get down. It would have been caught had Joe not. You know what? I'm just going to bite my tongue and let this play out. Going to settle for the RBI triple. All good, Benny. Good hack. Wait, you guys are hacking? Phew. Just a tad early, Ben. All right, you guys are about to witness the greatest half inning in the history of baseball. You will all realize why everyone says I am the best and why I belong in the Hall of Fame. You barely made it into the Hall of Presidents at Magic Kingdom, but whatever you say. Way to get things started, Donald. Oh, believe me, I'm just getting started. Tying run coming up, boys. You two pissing your pants yet? All right, a little bit of trouble. Nothing we can't work out of. You got this, Barry. Why are you stopping? I didn't mean to, Ben. Uh Uh-oh, boys. Looks like that's going to be trouble. Keep going, Donald. Why are you stopping? Because unlike you, I'm not a liability on the base paths. Sorry, Ben. It's all right, Barack. I expect us to give up this tying run. Just try not to give them a lead. Regardless, still a whole other inning to play. Do it, Donald. It's Bobby Witt on third. I highly doubt he's contemplating on whether or not he should go. And just like that, it's a tie ball game, fellas. The goat strikes again. Way to go, Bibby Watt. It ceases to amaze me you still have this guy pitching. Good one, Donnie. Thanks, Joe. Yay, Barry, I would take him out. I got faith he can get out of this inning. That's a home run anywhere else. What kind of Mickey Mouse stadium is this? Good catch, Barry. Oh, what? Apparently it hit the ground. Hypothetically, if you were to catch that ball... The momentum of this game wouldn't be as much in their favor as it is now. That was a great analysis, Ben. Almost as informative as any speech Sleepy Joe has given. Whoa, what the hell? I didn't do anything. My point exactly. We have had no runs whatsoever until this inning, which may I remind you I have been in control of. Barack, why are you warming up Joe Kelly? And Donald, why are you warming up Aroldis Chapman? Both of them control their pitches as well as Donald controls his temper. Uh Uh-oh, boys, that's a gapper. Shit. Don't say that I didn't highly advise against putting in Joe Kelly. Who are all those people sitting on that bench out there? Those are all your supporters, Joe. All six of them. And I lost us the lead. Thanks for the two runs. Two? Barack, he's going home. Donald, you're going home already? But we haven't finished the game. No, you imbecile. I was trying to reach home plate. Well, thanks for the free out. You're welcome, Barry. And thank you for the four runs. Joe, I expect a handwritten letter thanking me for getting us this lead once you awake from your nap. Donald, for the last time, I've been awake this entire time. Ah, someone is still cranky. Barry, where'd you put his bottle? All right, buckle up, boys. The Cuban missile is about to launch. Oh, my God, we're under attack. No, Joe, that's this player's nickname. He's Cuban and throws really fast. That's an understatement, Barack. His fastest pitch, which is also the major league record, was 105 miles per hour. They even had to create a Chapman filter on the MLB website to filter out all his... could you shut the fuck up for a minute? The game is broken. The graphic is just stuck, Donald. I'm sure it'll disappear after the next play. Let's just say hypothetically, for the sake of the argument, Aroldis Chapman was a starter in the rotation. Ben, I swear on the Taj Mahal, if you give one more hypothetical, I'm going to beanberry with this next pitch. Donald, how could you swear on something you don't even own anymore? Let's just say hypothetically that you were to beat him. Hypothetically, I just hit him. Now take a walk and shut your damn mouth. Mad because bad? He's setting up for the two-for-one special. Joe, that may be the most attentiveness you've shown this entire game. Why does everyone think I'm not paying attention or asleep? Oh, shit! Time to put some speed on the base paths. Great pun, Ben, but is it really worth the eight speed difference? No, it's not. That's why I put Romy out there instead. Uh Uh-oh, Donald. Pissing your pants yet? Absolutely not. This is all part of my master plan to get the incredibly rare triple play that only I can pull off. Wow, what a triple play. Shut up, Joe. Way to tie things up, Barry. Whole new ball game now, fellas. Stay at third, Barry. Oh, what the hell? Must be the controller dying. Oh, yeah, sure. Joe, you are the last one to talk when it comes to base running. Who is he pointing to? Is he calling for the ice cream truck? No, Sleepy Joe. I'm setting up for the double play. 
because your last attempts at setting up for one turned out so well. Way to lay out for it, Donnie. Relax, it sets up the play at any base. Had a free out right there. I actually want to earn this win, thank you very much. Stop trying to hand it to us. No way you're turning that. Watch me. Fucking hell. Gotta go for that sure out at first, Donald. Hey Ben, if I need tips from the peanut gallery, I'll be sure to ask. No way. Good catch, Donald. Hit it right to me. Barry, what are you doing? What do you mean? You have two guys on third. Oh, shit. Easy inning. Thanks for the free out, Scrubs. Not really. You blew the lead, Donald. This was all a test just to see how you do under pressure, Joe. Time to see if you can come through clutch or if you will fall asleep behind the wheel. Behind the wheel? Now we're racing? Tying run is aboard. Oh, no, no, no. No ties. Focus on the lead, Joe. There's one, Ben. Da, 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 da. Sports Center top 10. Damn it. The hell are you diving for? I was trying to create a highlight reel play and get the stadium roaring. And now they are roaring for me. No, they are roaring for me. I got the damn hit. What kind of chicken shit is that? It was actually a smart play, Donald. Joe was trying to get both runners into scoring position. Never do that again, Joe. Ben, pick him off. He's basically halfway to third. He's going. Damn, my fault, Barry. I didn't realize. Joe, that was possibly the stupidest thing you've done so far this game. And I admire the balls of steel you just showed there. Believe me, Donald, I haven't even done my worst. A perfect, perfect piss missile. That's going to score everyone. We lucked out that it was a ground rule double. Oh, no. Did I mess up again, Donnie? Nope. Not your fault, Joe. This was once again Barack's fault for picking this absolute abomination of a baseball field. Disgrace to America's pastime. Donald, you as well as everyone agreed to play here. Fake news. This park doesn't know what to do with any well-hit ball, punishes the hitter for anything hit hard, and awards the weak for the softest little bloops down the line. Donald, stop disrespecting this iconic field. The Polo Grounds is a national treasure. Now, hold on. So we are playing water polo? Why isn't the play over? Ben, I think he tagged up too early. Throw it to second. There's that tremendous base running awareness from Sleepy Joe. All right. Finally stop the bleeding. Let's go, Ben. Walk it off for us. Joe, I am asking nicely here. People say I'm one of the nicest people, the greatest I get along with everybody, but please just get these three outs. Don't worry, Donald. About to send Barry and Benny right back to the Windy City. Hopefully Barlow doesn't shut the door on us. Oh, look, the game is broken again. How convenient that it's while Joe and I are winning. Donald, if anything, it distracts Ben from hitting. And even then, I don't think it's an issue. There's one. Two to go, boys. What the hell, Barry? Get this off the screen. Why do you all think I'm responsible for these bugs occurring? Oh, no, there's a bug. Someone get it. Jill will get mad. I told the Secret Service to call for the exterminator. The only bug in the room is the slump bug. Seems like Barry and Ben caught it and can't hit now. Good Lord, Ben, could you be any earlier? Joe, all I ask for is one more strike. I know you have it in you. I promise you can go to bed after you get this out. Chicago, good night. Never a doubt. Thank you all for watching my historic but never surprising incredible performance. Those who came expecting to see Barry and Ben win will not be refunded. I did it. Nice try, losers. Uh, it was a team effort, Donald, but nevertheless, good game, you two. Good try, Ben. We'll get them next time. Good game, everyone. Hypothetically, for the sake of the argument, had I hit that pitch, chances are? Chances are you still would have choked. You're a lightweight, Ben. Barry, you suck. Joe, thanks for the moral support. Great wiffle ball game, everyone.